coming to you today to remind you of the new moon intention. So I am an intuitive life coach and typically I work with uh, empaths who are ready to do the deeply healing inner work so that they can improve their relationships and move on to manifest and co-create a life beyond their wildest dreams. So today is a very important day and we get this opportunity every single month on the new moon. So in the new moon, it's known for um, us being, it, new moons are known for new beginnings. And my other uh, business, my birth business was called New Moon Healing because I was, I've been so fascinated by the moon cycles and um, just our ability to manifest and co-create the lives that we really want to be living. And the way to do that is through living with intention. So on these, on the new moon every month, I have always been reminding my community to write out their new moon intentions. So, um, Coda and I just finished our nice morning walk, and um, and this is something that I've been manifesting, um, you know, for for years is just to be able to create a schedule that I love and to be able to do work that I love, and um, and I manifested him. <laughs> a German Shepherd as my co-pilot. I manifested my truck, a forerunner in the model that I wanted and um, manifesting relationships and manifesting clients in my career and so many amazing things, travel plans, like anything. So this is what we're going to do. The hope today is that you really sit down to take a look at what your dreams are like and I really really want you to just dream big no holding back no limiting beliefs do not worry about the how just focus on what your soul is called to do so you'll sit down uh, you can ha I like to have a separate journal just because I've been doing it since 2010 but you know it could just be a piece of paper it honestly it could just be you sitting down and uh, purposefully directing your thoughts to what you want more of so you're going to look at who you want to be spending your time with and not necessarily um, certain people because, you know, certain people, they might not be part of your path anymore, but you're going to look at who, the type of person, sort of like the archetype of a person that you want to be spending more of your time with, what you want to be doing, where you want to be going. Do you want to travel? You know, I know in these times of like post pandemic and COVID, we're limited in our travel, but where do you want to be going? Do you want beaches? Do you want rainforests? Do you want uh, Alaska? You know, do you want Europe? Like, what do you want? You really dream big. Let yourself dream big. Who, what, where, when do you want to be doing things? And I ask that you get really, really specific in what you are writing out, what you're thinking about. Um, and, you know, that sort of comes down the road. So for initially, we're just really list out all of your intentions, everything you want to be co-creating and bringing to fruition in this lifetime. And so then you, um, what I love to do is turn it into a ritual. I love, I have a lot of rituals throughout my day and um, I like that consistency for myself. It's part of this reparenting process to create this, these different structures for me. So I like to have a ritual around it and that includes being able to sit down with my new moon intentions journal. Well, prior to sitting down, I'll typically cleanse my space with sage or Palo Santo. I have my essential oils going. Um, at times I have incense. Nag Champa is my favorite. I have incense burning. So create the ambiance, possibly light a candle. And then when you sit down, take three deep breaths in and out. So big ones in through the nose and out through the mouth three of them, mind, body, and soul, because we're bringing ourselves together. You're just working to ground yourself and center yourself and then be able to call in everything that comes through you, through the divine, through your intuition, through what you feel naturally drawn to. So then you start writing and you just write out everything you want to be calling into your life, everything that feels right to you. And it's not too big. Don't worry about that. As I mentioned, don't worry about the limiting beliefs. Don't worry about the how. Just write down what your soul feels called to do and the rest works itself out. If it's meant for you, if you're thinking it, it's already yours. So you're going to call, you're going to write everything out that you want to be calling into your life and co-creating. And then you go back through the, the list and you give thanks and, and then you can do a seated meditation around that. 
And so that's a practice that I really just love to be able to do every single month and it helps keep us connected to what we desire. It helps keep us connected to everything that we are hoping to be bringing into our lives because remember a big part of uh, co-creating our lives and manifesting is really being able to live with intention and make conscious choices. So I hope you're going to have fun with this new moon today. And um, typically I will write a post about this, but I, I just felt like coming to in video today. All right. So um, there's lots of energy around this new moon. There's, um, you know, as I mentioned, new moons are symbolic of new beginnings. And there are a lot of cycles that are ending right now. And there are a lot of toxic patterns that are not going to be continuing. So become aware of those and move forward. All right. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. Thanks for tuning in. Peace.